Well, hey there, everybody. It's the end of the month, and that can only mean one thing. It is time for another garden update. Welcome to my backyard. Sorry you're getting a view of my dumpster right there. It's not in the right place. But let's cruise around and see what's happening. Usually, come September, I just have soil, maybe some weeds. And so this year, I've worked super hard to keep the garden going and so far it's going and I think things are moving along pretty well so let's pop inside the fence and I'll show you what I have growing so our chives are looking good they have they just winter through and they've been going for several years now so that into the bed besides a lot of mole holes I planted onion seeds and can you see those right there those are my sprouted onions so they're super close together I'm gonna let them get a little bit bigger and then I will space them out according to the instructions on the seed packet but I want to let them get a little bit bigger before I do that they're, the roots are still pretty small those are my yellow bell peppers still going strong that great big one right there is a cabbage so something was eating that so the lower leaves are gone so I don't know if we'll actually get a big head of cabbage we'll see down at this end, I have carrots. Can you see some of the big? I had a couple that came up from my first planting. I could probably pick those anytime. And then I have a bunch of little ones that have also come up and their roots are also teeny tiny. And the root is what becomes the carrot, of course. So I'll need to thin those out. They need to get a little bigger first. Over here, I have a couple green beans that I planted in early September. I'm not sure if they're going to produce because it's getting chilly, but we'll see. Banana peppers still going strong. I'm picking about a dozen to two dozen a week. More green beans. We have about one um, big batch of green beans per week. And by big batch, I mean enough to serve my family for a dinner. And sometimes we have a few left over. So um, I picked um, a, a pretty big number of green beans this particular day. I'm trying to show them to you hiding hiding back in there. I gotta get my camera in the right spot. You see all of those beans back here? They're so yummy. It is so fun to cook your vegetables in your backyard and then cook them up for dinner. Okay, these are looking similar to the onions I showed you in the other bed. These are shallots actually and I planted those from sets which means basically I planted a shallot and um, they, they are sprouting, which is good. There was um, a couple broccoli plants there, too. Those are broccoli. Some are broccoli and some are cauliflower, and I don't remember which is which, honestly. So we'll have to wait and be surprised. There are my green bell peppers that are turning red. This bed, um, oh, I'm going to show you the peppers now. Aren't they pretty? My kids love bell peppers. They will eat them for snacks. They'll have them with their lunch. I love having many of them because, you know, they're expensive in the store. This bed looks nice and neat. I'm really proud of myself. I finally got my caterpillars under control and we've got a lot of kale coming along. I picked a big bunch of kale. We're actually going to have a kale salad tomorrow. Um, that's down one side. In the middle I have broccoli and cauliflower. Down at this end, to be completely honest, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. It, it might be some more kale. Um, and I know that there's Swiss chard. I had a rainbow chard. And so that's what this is. That's a red one. You can see how it's red. Um, there's another red one, but that's a yellow one. So I know I have some Swiss chard over there, but I can't remember. I know I planted parsnips someplace, and I've never grown parsnips before, so I'm not sure what they are going to look like. This bed has lettuce. It has a little bit of Swiss chard and kale, but it has a lot of that red oak leaf lettuce. It's really hard to see, so I was trying to get up close so you could see it. There's a lot of it in there. It just really blends in to the soil. And then this bed, I think last month I showed you how I thinned it out. It broke my heart. I had to just throw some of it away, but so much of it um, germinated, and you know you have to thin it out. So I tried to put them kind of in rows. So that's it for the veggies. Let's see what else is happening in the yard. I have a couple Japanese maples over here that are just starting to turn red. Those will be really pretty in about a month. 
crepe myrtles get a pretty orange and there's the maple that is turning a little bit more red things will be really pretty here in north carolina in a couple more weeks thank you so much for stopping by today i love sharing this garden with you i love seeing these sorts of things from other people if you'd like to see more of these lifestyle type videos just leave a comment let me know if you have any questions please ask i'll do my best to help you and I appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.